hello everybody I'm back again so today I am back to share the little um, whatchamacallit little flippy I call everything flippy the envelope and card flippy thingy <laughs> anyways um, I wanted to do a, a nature nature theme but I ended up going to more of a woodland um but i still like this but i don't know i'm thinking i may have to add something because i decided to use the owl so i cheated and i went ahead and got all my pieces together guys and um i guess i'll start on this side and all i did was just um actually that's not from this page that's from here i just grabbed a piece of paper and just tore it off and this was a tag that came with this kit that I'm using and um, I think it's Sienega Pond Designs if I'm not mistaken I have to look it up but yeah it's a full kit but I just pull, uh, printed the ephemera I just I uh, I don't know I like the owls I like the mushrooms I notice I've been into that a lot so that's what I went ahead and did so this was a tag I just tore around it and just added some of this um, green paper and then that um i guess it's uh for when people paint the paper dropping that they use i guess that's it <laughs> anyways um yeah it's 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 um masking um not masking paper but it's um it's from the hardware store so you can get it on amazon too um, but it's, it, it's awesome for this type of, uh, collaging, you know, um, as you can see in the collage that I, that I did, um, I didn't really give it any type of color, so I decided to add a little bit of the green to go with the, the ephemera that I was using, and I like the way it looks, so, yeah, I just decided to, um, make the pockets decorate them myself just so you know this video doesn't become like all extra long <laughs> but um and then i i got this image also from that kit and just layered that green paper with some book page paper and then this is music sheet paper and um sorry if you guys could hear my pups they're in the back <laughs> and this one i'm just going to glue it down so this is just um, it's not going to be a tuck or anything like that. So, yeah. And then I did some stitching, you know, because it, it looks awesome. But um, I did not create any ephemera for it to put into the pockets. So, but I just wanted you guys to see how I put it together. And so, yeah, you, and this one, it was very easy because you just tear up the pages to make the little corners. Um, corner tucks it's not coming out that good today I'm gonna have to use a little pin but yeah I hope everybody's doing good I'm enjoying my day uh, my neighbor uh, for Valentine's today had a, a barbecue at his house and he invited my husband and my son so they're down there which is a couple of condos away move it a little bit there but yeah they're just uh, I could hear the music they're got music I had to close my sliding door because yeah they were being too loud <laughs> then this is a cute little envelope I haven't put it together but I definitely want to pop it in there so that you could see the little owl there and then these are the journaling cards that came with it but I want to back them because I ended up printing them on uh, just regular copy paper and um, but I think those will go good in here so yeah I don't know if I should hide him since that one's up there or just let him peek so yeah that's that's how that's going to be I don't know if I'll add any other ephemera, but oops. Oh, yeah, I'm right. So then 
make sure it doesn't bend. And then on this side, I also did something similar. Again, just layering. Oh, and of course my cheesecloth. And um, yeah, I think that looks um, that looks good. I like the way it turned out. Um, I didn't trim the little threads. I kind of left left them a little bit there to show. But yeah, because I thought if I do this video, like put everything together on video, it's going to take me at least three videos if I'm lucky. And I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to, um, you know, make so many parts. Ah, <gasps> this one went there because this one goes on the top. Okay, so now I'm going to have to put that there. This one went here and this one went up there. Oh well, guess I'm switching. So that's okay. And this one again, I did some layering and to collage, I mean decorate, I used some of the tickets that came with the kit. So I used two of them. And then I just uh, layered some papers on the back again. Make sure it doesn't interfere with the closing. But there, see, so then I guess I would use to add some mushrooms over here. I can add one of these here. And then maybe one of the tags. I'm not sure. No, you know what? I think I just like that one. And then I did not do anything for this one yet, the inside. And I still need to add some um, some cardstock on the back just to make it more sturdy. But, I mean, it's it's good. But, yeah, guys, this is it. That's my little pocket. But, like I said, I feel like I need to add. I should, I mean... I should have put an owl or, or mushrooms and I... You know, I end up switching it, which is, it's still fine, but I'm going to see if I can work some, uh, maybe a little owl or something and see if I can make it work. If not, um, I'm okay with it. It's still cute. So there you have it, guys. I hope you guys give it a try. Just layer papers around, play with it. It's, it's fun. It's easy. And um, they're quick, too. They don't take that long. Well, if you don't think a lot like me. <laughs> but, yeah. So, that's it. This is the original one that I had shown. And before I let you guys go, since I had already, you know, cheated and put everything together, I thought I would take advantage and share my little posts that I've been putting on. Uh, let me scroll over here real quick. Um, I've been doing a lot of ephemera, guys. Um, I, like I said, I did a lot of uh, journals. So see these, as you can see, I've only decorated the front. I have to add my little taggies and decorate there. Haven't done anything in the back. Here's another one with a, like I said, I'm into mushrooms. And uh, this one, and that's the back, just a little bit of collaging. This one I did put um, ephemera in there and these are all bits and pieces from uh, Shabby Dabby Duda. These also in here. So yeah, I've been just mixing different kinds of papers. Um, I used uh, Paper Daisy, I think it is. Uh, the old design shop. Who else? Music sheet. Like I've just been, I've printed all kinds of papers. See, this is from the old design shop. I've just been printing all kinds of papers and just plain. This is from uh, Saturday Stamper, I think it is. So I've been using her papers too and just, just making a variety. 
And then um, here I got another pack. These are like the ones we just made. I think I showed you guys these, but as you can see, it's still, it still needs some collaging. These have no decoration yet whatsoever. So they're just, you know, ready, ready to uh, get embellished. And then I did a bunch of uh, journaling cards, um, which um, I need to cover the backs, but I just collaged, sewed them, and I just need to come back and, um, you know, um, embellish them. But yeah, I've been having so much fun. See, this is my porch print paper. I don't know where that one came from. I think this one is from the old design shop. One of the ones I just purchased. I think this is from uh, Rachel at Roxy Creations. So yeah, it's just I've been playing with so much stuff, guys. And then these are the little new pockets that I, I started making. I think I showed this on another uh, video. But yeah, you got your little tags here, little tags in here, and then the ones in the front. So those are ready to just pop, be popped into a... Actually, this one's decorated. That one goes on this side of the basket. And then here's a little one that... I'm not sure whose paper is that, but it's ready to get embellished. And then this one too, these go um, either on the page, you know, around the page, or just tucked in a pocket. So I've got to make a little tag there, here for journaling. Then here I want to put some coffee dye paper for journaling. I think there was two of those, but I don't see the other one. And then these tags, I think I've shared these. Again, pocket on the side. I don't have a little you know, pocket here and then when you flip it over you got a pocket here so these can uh, be inserted or used you know put in with a paper clip so I did three of those no four of those here's the other ones so yes I've been having so much fun guys just whipping all kinds I, well, I was doing four of each some of them ended up being more this one I had already shown this when I used like the, I guess this was a Christmas card and then this was a smaller envelope and I just made this little thingy here and then there's a, a pocket there. So I just finished collaging it but it needs to be embellished. And then I made these kinds of tags, I made four of these as well. And this one you have a pocket here and a pocket here and on the back it's just plain. I didn't add another pocket there. And then this one is just one here, one here, and then that's the back. And then this one's the same as the other one. The first one I showed you. This one, so I was collaging. This was supposed to be my back. And then here I was supposed to do uh, a pocket. I was going to do another one like this. But somehow I took a break, came back, and I ended up putting this paper and totally forgot that um, I was supposed to have a pocket here and I had already put this image here so I was like you know what this is just gonna be a regular tag so it still works and then these it's funny I've been I um, Rachel at Roxy Creations did um, did a uh, you know how she has her challenge going week week weekly challenge this was one of them so I'm like oh my god how funny and I made some of these too <laughs> So these, again, you can glue them as either in the center as a belly band, but if I would make it thinner, but I mean, you could still use it like that, or in the edge of a page, you have a tuck here and then the tuck here. So I made uh, four of these. Oh, okay, five of these. <laughs> Did I, do I not know how to count? No, it is five of them, okay. So yeah, guys, so see, I, I, uh, I guess I read uh, um, Rachel's mind when I did those because then I see them and I'm like, oh my God, I just did those. <laughs> and then the, this pile is the one that I already did. That I mean, that's already embellished. So this is the one I just showed you. This little tag keeps getting lost and I've never used it. it so I got to keep it in a safe place. But I did little cute little tags. So these are all backed already and ready to go. 
And this one, I made it a while ago, and I guess I never did anything with it. I want to stitch around it, but I kept it in here. I never, yeah, never did anything. And then these here. So those are cute little tags. And, oh, this is another one the same. And then these, I show, I shared them on, um, on uh, Facebook. Oh, I need to back these too. I shared these on um, Facebook and Instagram. The little birdie. Oh, I did back this one. And then this one here. I can't remember who's that paper from. And then these either are journaling tags or they can be pockets. These I made them small. That's why I didn't cover these because I'm not sure if I'm going to use them as journaling cards or as a tuck. As a pocket, I mean. Just glue on this side. But yeah, these are, I love how they turned out. These uh, pieces that I used are from Calico Collage. A digi kit of just various little bits and pieces. So, and then these flowers. I can't remember. But yeah. And then, like I said, I've been using different kinds of papers. But I love the way they turned out. I think that one is um, um, Tracy Fox. Yeah, these flowers, I don't know. Oh, there's another one. I can't remember who the flowers are from. And then these, kind of like little index cards. So these were fun. I don't know if I'm going to use them as, uh, as journaling cards. I, I did back these or as pockets but I think they came out really cute just sewed around them and then this one here did a little bit of a collage there a little snippet this one I didn't do anything I just thought it was pretty I thought maybe I'll add a label but I don't know I didn't find any label I thought went well with it maybe a word up there I'm not sure but I I left it like that and then this one I did add some labels there so those were fun and then these I did make a bunch of these little pockets and these are already filled with ephemera so there's that one they're kind of I think they're kind of all similar but I had so much fun making these just just a ton of them and like I said I use various um, pieces of ephemera from various um, shops and then this one and then this one, and then this one, Oh, this one, I guess this is not a, a nature one, but I mean, it can be, but I would have to remove this image. <laughs> and then this one here. So yeah, I have a bunch of those made already. And then this little envelope, I know I have more, but this one in, was in between my stuff. So I decided to decorate it and I um, have a little um, tag already in there. So yeah, this was this was cute. Tiny. And then this is like I said the one, this one. I made a couple of those which I said I was going to make a video I think and I never never made it. And then there's another one. And then a couple of corner ones here. I need to make more of these. I only made two. And then this piece um I was going to collage but for some reason I just liked it like that I just put a little piece of a, a little label there and that's it I didn't want to cover that beautiful rose and then these uh, journaling cards yeah these need to be backed still so I have that one this one yeah, I can't remember whose kid is this and this one well I made two with uh, well this one I did back but this one I did not um, these I guess is for a, a vintage lady journal which I haven't made one in a while fix those there and oh this is one of like the other ones over there I did did some embellishments but I didn't add anything to it but this was uh, I made this one on a different date but that one goes over there because it's not decorated this one I made because I was adding some stuff to some of the journals I already made and I ended up putting another pocket, so I just popped it in here. <laughs> this one, I think I showed you guys. This was a, a uh, greeting card, which I like the way it looks inside. But then when you look at the outside, I don't know. Maybe I should. 
embellish something in there, but I, I like it because it's clear so you can, you know, you I mean it still has some decoration to it. I don't know. We'll see how that goes. If I end up leaving it like that or not. So there's that one. And then this was my original one of these pockets I sh showed you guys back here. And these, um, they're very easy. 20 minutes. I don't know if I should just share real quick how, how that one was done. But yeah, I had more ephemera, but I already inserted some on some of the journals. So I guess I can put this in here for now. I've been trying to get um, organized. As you can see, I got me this little basket, so I'm trying to do all of them embellished. But right now, this is embellished, and this needs to be embellished. I don't have a huge um, basket like um, Gail, <laughs> but hopefully one day I can fill one up. Wouldn't that be awesome? Then all I have to do is glue stuff. But anyways, for that pocket, let me show you real quick. Let me come over here and get some book pages. It's very, very simple. Um, let me just, this one's kind of gluey. But, um... If you're gonna collage on it like I did, I only used one page, but um, if you're not gonna collage like as much on it, then maybe you should use double pages. But yeah, I'm just, um, I just used one. But all I did was just measure this to get it to the center. Oh, my daughter. As, you know, center it as best as you can. And then I just came in and folded my little corners in. And I think I've, I've done this pocket before, but I just added the bottom pocket on the bottom to just give it more, more excitement, <laughs> more, more tucks, more pocket, I guess. So then that's done. And then the other one, I just fold it in half. Which, of course, you know, it'd be nice if I trim the edges, but this is for just tutorial sake. So then all I did was just pop this one here. Um, I leave a little bit out. And then um, just make your pocket. And you can make it as as you know small as big as you want but that would go there and then I would just trim the sides there and so now you have the pocket in here in here and in here and then of course once you glue it down you have a other pocket back there but yeah it's very simple I you know you collaged I'm well, I collaged on the sides you can go ahead and add something there to keep it closed. But even if I, I know on one of them, well, I'm actually all of them. Okay, that one's more. See, I ended up putting it more above. Let me see. I didn't, I guess what I'm saying is I didn't cover it. See, it's, it's open. So even if you don't close them together I mean you could add a piece of paper collaging all the way down I just collaged you know to where it's going to show and I, I left it like that it's not going to interfere in any way as you could see you know your cards right there it's not going to open so yeah but like I said you can you can close it if you don't want it open but yeah that's how that one's done guys very simple and very quick just boom there you go cut these edges and you got the pocket so I guess that's all for today guys it's a short video I am going to continue doing my little pockets and stuff and and I'm probably gonna maybe um, bring you guys along you know and just keep keep making some more you know um, I know I have a video that I have to make I can't remember her name, but there was a lady who asked me, um, 
you know, my little lace flowers that I made. She wanted me to make some, I think it was uh, pinks. Anyways, um, yeah, I need to, um, I need to do that. I haven't forgotten. I know you know who you are. <laughs> I just, you know, just so many things, so many things, but it's still in my head and I will take care of it. And uh, what else? Just catching up on my other stuff. But other than that, I guess that's all for today. I will see you guys on my next video. You guys take care. Oh, happy Valentine's. Have a good day. Good night. Bye.